What's up YouTube? How's it going? So today I wanted to make a video about how I use my MacBooks for college, um, primarily focused on note taking for this video. Now, as you can see here, I have Evernote in my dock and directly to its right I also have Microsoft Word. For the longest time, I used Word, it's the 2011 version, to type up all my notes, whether that be in class or before class or after class if I missed a class, and I would use Word for that. Now, I have it here, <clears throat> and this is what it would look like. I'd pull up the notebook version. Um, again, not a review of Word, but if you go to Appearances, you can change backgrounds and you can change the... Um, header color up here let's say we want to put it as red you can change it but that's not what this is about but I would always use this so I would do something like let's say science notes and I would put the date today's 4-2 and then I would go down here and write um, you know Survival of the fittest, also known as natural selection, is how fit an animal is. I would do something like that, and I would write all the way down pages and pages and pages of, you know, notes that were in my part of my lectures. But I began to realize a problem. What if I was somewhere that I didn't have my laptop with me? I had my phone, of course, because we all always have our phones. And what if I wanted to go over those notes? What I began doing was emailing these notes in Word to myself so I had them on my phone. But that, that was kind of a hassle. Now, enter Evernote. And what Evernote, if, for those of you that may not know, I'm sure most people know, uh, it's a very popular app. But Evernote is a note-taking app for absolutely anything. And it syncs your apps. I mean, excuse me, it syncs your notes across all your devices. So that means if you have a tablet such as an iPad and you have it on your laptop, your notes that you type on your laptop will sync to your iPad. Notes that you type on your iPad will sync to your laptop. And of course it's the same for the iPhone. Now, Evernote uses notebooks and so here you can see I have a notebook for my final paper in one of my classes and then I have more of kind of a general subject with multiple things in it. Now if you want to create a new notebook or a new note you just go command N and you can see it pops up this little pop-up window for you here and you can just start typing. Now you can use Evernote for anything. This doesn't just have to be for your schoolwork whether it's high school or college whatever it may be. People use Evernote for anything, even simple things like writing out a grocery list and it syncs to their phone so they have it. But let's say I want to go YouTube video ideas as the title. And then in the body of it, I want to type, you know, Evernote full review. And then if I want to go on and on, I can type more about uh, things I want to talk about and whatnot. But with this, that will sync to my phone. So if I were to go check my phone, my video ideas, whatever I were to write, would be there. Evernote has syncing options. Um, I believe mine is set to sync automatically every 15 minutes, but you can also manually sync it yourself at any time. And that's helpful because let's say you, you, just, you don't want to lose something or you don't want to wait the allotted time to sync it. Um, it's nice to be able to do it yourself and know that it got done. So that's how I use Evernote. I have, like I said, multiple notebooks. Um, you can continue to add notebooks. You can get rid of ones maybe that you're no longer using, that are no longer uh, value to you. But it really is helpful. And it's, it's a great tool because anything, like I said, I mean, you can be out somewhere, and let's say you don't have your laptop with you. You can be out somewhere using your phone, and 
whatever you type on your phone will sync when you get back to your laptop, it'll be there. That's a really nice feature. And like I said, for me to be able to type on my laptop and then not have to worry about emailing it to myself, just simply clicking the sync button, that's a nice luxury to have. And so that's how I use Evernote on my Mac and on my phone for that matter. And it really it didn't make the word my word setup that I was using obsolete. But it did make it it did make me realize how much more simple Evernote was, how much more convenient it was to be able to just type something and hit sync and you can you can continually edit things. So for example, this YouTube video ideas Evernote review, if I were to pick it up on my phone and type on my phone, um, you know, maximum time limit. 10 minutes on the video. Let's say I want to I want to keep it under 10 minutes and I, I want that, you know, that's an important thing to remember. If I were to type that, it would sync across all platforms that I have Evernote on, which is a nice feature. So that is how I use Evernote on my Mac. Again, not really a full review. I am planning on doing a more in-depth review, which I'm excited about. Um, that's how I use my Mac for note taking there are other note taking apps out there um, some are free some cost money Evernote is free and as I said that is what I use um, primarily now to take my notes Apple even has the notes app that originated in iOS I've seen some people like in classes and stuff I've seen some people pull that up uh, very quickly and just type something out but that's not really as far as sitting like in a lecture hall that's not really an app that can handle um, heavy duty notes in my opinion you need something more advanced such as Evernote or, or even Word like I said works fine it just wasn't convenient enough so that's why I use Evernote and this was just a short video on how I use my Mac for note taking in college so hopefully this video was helpful. Hopefully it gave you some ideas on how to use Evernote. Maybe it opened, you know, introduced you to Evernote altogether, which would be pretty cool. Now, please leave a like if you enjoyed this video. If you have questions about this video, about Evernote, even about like Microsoft Word, please leave a question. I will respond. Um, please subscribe to the channel if you're viewing this and you are new. I really appreciate it, guys. And as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.